Hello children. Today we will be starting with the practical number 8 and aim of the practical of 10th standard. Aim of the practical is to study the physical and the chemical properties of the acetic acid which is also known as ethanoic acid. Uh, the chemical which we will be using here is uh, acetic acid. Uh, so children I will be showing you all together. Now I just want to show you the material which we will be using. Then red, blue, liquid solutions and sodium by carbonate. So the procedure is we have to take 2 to 3 ml of acetic acid in a clean and dry test tube and we have to note down its color and odor. Then second 4 to 5 ml of water we have to add in the acetic acid solution and see whether it is getting mixed or not. Then we have to take 2 ml of acetic acid in another test tube and add the blue litmus solution to it and check it. And uh, then we have to add red litmus solution in another test tube and put acetic acid and check it and write the observation. Then finally we have to take 2 ml of acetic acid in a test tube and a pinch of sodium bicarbonate and observe it. So let us perform the experiment and write down the observation. Children, I have already discussed with you. We will be requiring acetic acid, then uh, water as per your book, then blue lit uh, red litmus solution. This is red litmus solution, children, and blue litmus solution and sodium bicarbonate. This is sodium bicarbonate salt and the lime water. Now we will be performing one by one test and writing the observation. First of all, we will take 2 to 3 ml of acetic acid in a test tube. Yes. This is take an extra. I always prefer taking a little less. But we want to show the video, therefore more is taken. Okay, 2 to 3 ml it is. And I put water in it. And shake it. And see whether the acetic acid is dissolving or not. We can see clearly the acetic acid has dissolved. Children, it is not giving any two different layer or suspension clearly we can see it has dissolved so acetic acid dissolves in water i will be discussing with you the observation table now second is we will be taking the smell of acetic acid the smell of acetic acid is pungent smell now in video you cannot smell it but when we do when you will be having the actual bottle of acetic acid and you take the smell, you will be getting a pungent smell. So it is also vinegar like which you all are having at home. So you open the bottle of vinegar and take the smell today and you will get the smell of acetic acid and it is pungent like odor. Then we will be learning the effect of red litmus and blue litmus on the acetic acid. So for that we will be taking uh, red litmus solution in the test tube. Take acetic acid in the test tube. Yes, enough. Okay. Take little. Less. Okay. Now pour blue litmus solution. See blue litmus solution name itself suggests that it is blue in color. And now we will be pouring blue litmus in acetic acid see children it has turned red so blue litmus solution turns red so this shows that 
Acetic acid is acidic in nature. Now we will be taking again acetic acid in a test tube. And this is a red litmus solution which is red in color. And we will be pouring in acetic acid. What we observe, red litmus remains red only and blue turns red. So this shows that acetic acid is acidic in nature. Now, now we will take acetic acid in a test tube or acetic acid in a test tube. And we will be taking pinch of sodium bicarbonate. See children here, I want to study the effect of the gas which is evolved when the acetic acid react with sodium bicarbonate. And one of the easiest way I am going to do it is I will be holding the test tube at the top of, top of this. So what happens? See you can see the bubbles coming out. So acetic acid reacts with sodium bicarbonate and give out carbon dioxide. And the gas has been collected in the, into this test tube. Still it is giving out. Bubbles can be seen very clearly, children. Yes. Now I'll be closing this test tube. In this layer is carbon dioxide gas. And I'll be taking lime water. This is lime water, children, which is very clear, you can see. I'm pouring it into the test tube where there is carbon dioxide gas. And I'll be shaking it. You can see children, carbon, the solution has turned milky in color. See lime water was clear but this solution is turned milky. Why it has happened? I'll explain you by chemical equation. Children, Lime water is COOH2. In this, I am adding CO2 gas. So it gives calcium carbonate plus water. See, this calcium is here. This carbon is here now two oxygen and here there are two oxygen and two hydrogen so already two oxygens are there plus one is taken from here oxygen so it is O3 remaining is how much two hydrogen and one oxygen which is H2O and because of CaCO3 the solution has turned white in color milky white in color because CaCO3 is white in color. Now children we saw acetic acid completely dissolved in water. Acetic acid turned blue vitamin solution into red. Red remained red when we added red solution and when we added sodium bicarbonate in uh, acetic acid it gave out the gas and when we tested the gas with lime water, lime water turned milky. Children after performing the experiment we need to observe, write the observation and inference. So color, uh, the odor, I already told it will be a pungent odor. You can also test at home vinegar smell, odor like vinegar and 
एसिटिक एसिड हैज पंजेन लाइक ओडर सेकेंड टेस्ट फॉर सोलिबिलिटी इन वॉटर एसिटिक एसिड डिजोल्व इन वॉटर एंड एसिटिक एसिड इज द इन्फ्लुएंस इज एसिटिक एसिड इज सोलिबल इन वॉटर देन वी टेस्टेड इफेक्ट ऑफ एसिटिक एसिड ऑन ब्लू लिटमस सोल्यूशन एंड रेड लिटमस सोल्यूशन ब्लू लिटमस अकॉर्डिंग टू ऑब्जर्वेशन टर्न रेड दैट शोज दैट एसिटिक एसिड इज एसिटिक इन नेचर रेड लिटमस सोल्यूशन रिमेन्स रेड दिस ऑल्सो शोज दैट एसिटिक एसिड इज एसिटिक इन नेचर देन वी डेट रिएक्शन इज सोडियम बाइकार्बोनेट देर वॉज कलरलेस गैस इवॉल्ड बबल्स वर सी and when we pass this gas through the lime water i showed you the short method the easiest method to collect the co2 gas in a test tube and test the lime water then we saw that carbon dioxide gas was evolved and it turned the so uh, uh, the lime water into milky Now we will be discussing multiple choice questions. Vinegar used as preservative for pickle is 5 to 8 percent aqueous solution of acetic acid. Acetic acid looks like ice due to freezing at 17 degree Celsius. Acetic acid is colorless. The functional group is ethanoic acid. Is carboxylic. 2 ml of ethanoic acid was taken in a test tube a b and c in a 2 ml b 4 ml and c 8 ml of uh, water was added a b c well, uh, the water was added which test tube show clear solution all the test tube show clear solution because acetic acid dissolves in water as well as acetic acid is transparent and colorless since it is colorless it dissolves in water so all the test tube will show clear solution so now we will be discussing the exercise read the question which microbe is used to extract ethanol from fruit juices and sugar molasses so actually yeast microbes is used to convert the daily sugar rich food item such as such as fruit juices and sugar molasses into ethanol and carbon dioxide now here i have written one of the yeast microbe name that is saccharomyces cerevisiae which is involved in the process of fermentation now the second question which main product is obtained by microbial fermentation as ethanol yeah a process of microbial fermentation in which sugar is converted into ethanol is known as ethanol fermentation and in this process sugar is converted into ethanol and carbon dioxide is the by product read the next question give examples of beverages and chemicals obtained by microbial fermentation of different organic substances read the answer children Examples of beverages obtained by microbial fermentation are wine, beer, chico kiwana, whiskey, mountain, malt whiskey, etc. Examples of chemicals obtained by microbial fermentation are cellulose, ethanol, lactic acid, acetic acid, riboflavin, etc. Yes. Now the next question. Read the next why question. The, why the study checking chemical and physical properties of daily use substances material is essential? Yeah. The knowledge of physical and chemical properties of daily use substances is important as it helps to optimally know about its maximum advantages and types of uses. The study of chemical properties helps to know if any type of matter will have a certain chemical reaction when mixed with other types of matter. 